Hi guys, my name is Philip Hollerson. We're here today to talk about the proposals for the uh, Crosby Manitou uh, State Park. And basically what we're discussing today are two proposals. One that would make the backcountry camping area uh, wheelchair accessible campsites 1 through 7, which is a pretty extensive area. And the other issue that we're talking about is wind turbines getting put up on top of a peak that will allow power to be distributed to the park itself and to four surrounding towns, which is huge. But the thing is, is I think that we should decline both of these proposals. For one, I think that there are many other issues that we need to be addressing first other than this very minor issue with this, with this state park. For, exi for example, uh, in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area, They've recently put up cell phone towers so that people can get phone service up there, which I understand if you live up there and you need that reception, obviously. Second, they've done a lot of motorized vehicle restrictions and people that don't necessarily want that and people that do want that, so there's a big fight going on there. And then there's also a bunch of mining that's going on that could possibly ruin a certain section of the Boundary Waters if it continues later down, down the line. So I think those issues are a little bit more important than this one that we're currently addressing in the Crosby Manitou State Park. Um, why this is important to me is I'm a firm believer in trying to keep things as natural as possible. And the Crosby Manitou State Park is pretty natural. You know, they, there's very limited hiking trails, or the hiking trails that are there go straight to the campsites and they take you through beautiful areas, but it's not necessarily destroying any of the land it's all really natural areas and if we made it into a handicap accessible place we'd have to wind out all these trails possibly pave them and take out a bunch of old growth trees which is kind of something you want to keep around especially when you don't have a lot of it anymore um i think that this is a good thing for the community as well because the surrounding areas or the surrounding towns use the crosby manitou state park all the time and I think that they want to try to keep it as natural as possible too you know I don't think that they want to see any destruction happen to that place if anything I think they'd like to see it get picked up a little and if anything I think that this declining both of these and getting this kind of idea in our head I think that we could also help clean up this park a little bit which would make it all the better um, and for the greater good we all need a place to escape and when we go on these backpacking adventures and stuff to go get away from all these places, we want to escape reality. And bringing these wind turbines in and widening out everything and making everything so much easier, you know. And I, especially for people that aren't in wheelchairs, this making the trails handicap accessible would take away a lot from the hiking and back. Uh, backpacking experience so I'm sorry for the people that do want to be in the wheelchairs but or that have to be in the wheelchairs and want to go back country camping it's just one of those things that is very difficult for a person with disabilities to do um but these places are they're there because we want to escape reality for a little bit you know we don't want to be hunkered down in our everyday lives we want to really escape and bringing these big wind turbines that are going to be in the middle of this beautiful area it's really going to kind of bring reality to the park if you know what i'm saying it's like oh i'm going to see that and think of civilization and really i don't want to think of that when i'm out there i want to be completely clear-headed exact that's that's what i'm going for at least so i think that that's kind of what people use these areas for is to get away from life for a little bit i think this would have a lot of positive impacts just on, on the park itself if not doing anything to it for one it remains as natural as possible there's going to be no destruction to wildlife meaning tree old growth trees and animals homes and stuff like that there's not going to be any destruction for that kind of stuff um, and there's nothing to distract from the beauty of the landscape. When I hiked up this, the peak up there and I got to look down all the way down to the North Shore and see Lake Superior, I would have been upset if there would have been a couple wind turbines up there. You know, they would have really taken away from the view that was up there. And I think that that's 
something that a lot of people would appreciate not being there. So that's one way that that's going to positively impact the park. Um, and back country camping in Minnesota isn't that spread out. Like, there isn't a lot of places that you can do it. And Crosby, Manitou is a place where you kind of have to do it, which is a really cool part about this park. And if we made it so accessible, it would really take away from that backcountry experience. Um, this, I think, one, for would reflect very well for the state parks just to really show how dedicated we are to conservation and preservation um, of our parks and of our beautiful landscape that we have here. Um, and they'll also be able to promote backcountry camping because this is a place that really can feature that. And I think that if they promoted it a little bit better, the park would be more widely used, better maintained, and I think a lot of people would appreciate having this park a lot more than what they already do. And like I said before, just how this would affect the parks is I think it would really bring attention to maintaining parks. When people see how beautiful this park is, I think that they would want to keep it that way. Or at least I would. You know, and I'd try to convince people to keep things like that as much as possible. But when I go there and I see a bunch of trash laying around, I don't, I don't appreciate that very much. And so I think this would really draw attention to Leave No Trace and stuff like that um, to post signs and let the campers there know that we're trying to keep this park as beautiful as possible. And I think that they would respect that if they're out there back backpacking. So overall, I think that we should decline both of these proposals. I think that they're great ideas. I think I like the renewable resources and I like people with disabilities being able to get out there and do their... get have their release too, you know, because we all have ours. So I hope one day that they can get that, but I think Crosby Manitou isn't necessarily the perfect area for these things. So all in all, make the right decision. Thank you. Have a great day.